Hello all, I'm the underwear magician. I'm just a guy standing around in his underwear, pretending to act like a magician by playing with a de deck of carrots. Okay, yeah, fine, I'll do this a couple of magic tricks. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to riffle through the deck, I want you to tell me when to stop. I'm not going to look at the screen. Really? Okay, you got that? Memorize that top card for me. You got that? Get it? Got it. Okay, you got that? Are you absolutely sure you got that? Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to shuffle the deck. Hang on, just take me a minute. It's going to take me a minute to do this. I suck at I suck at magic tricks. Hang on, just picking up your psychic wavelength. It'll take me a sec to find your curry. Is this your card? I think so. And I was not looking at the screen when I did that trick. Okay, let's see. What should I do next? Um, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put cards down. And I am going to... Look. Ordinary Looney. See? I tried to bend it. It's not doing anything. Okay? A little bit closer. You can see the Looney. I tried to bend it. It's not doing anything. Say, so try to bend it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, they say, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a bite out of this loony, and then I'm going to restore it to normal. So, here we go. Loony, let's give it a try. Oh, trip the tooth. Sorry about that. Anyway, here's the loony, and I can see, loony went back together. It's an ordinary loony. Next, I'm going to do a famous trick known as the swing... No, I shouldn't tell that what the name of the trick is. I'll spoil the trick for you. Okay. Jack of spades is the top card. And I'm going to take said top card and place it down on the chair in front of me here. Now I'm going to take a card out of the deck. Shall we use the five of clubs? Nah. Nah. Here we go. Three of clubs today is what we're going to use, okay? Now I'm going to snap my fingers and something should happen. Guess what the card down on the chair just became. And it's the same back as an ordinary card. I now put it back on top of the deck. Perio! Guess what's now on the bottom of the deck? You think that's funny? Get a load of this. Replicato! The entire deck is now three of clubs. But, just so you know, I'll show you this normal. Reversio! You know, I do a little wiggle of the deck, and here, I now play the cards back in reverse. And now you can see, it is an ordinary deck. And guess, sorry, and guess what's back on top. Jack of spades. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, now, how about we play a mental, um, how about now, just so you can see, I'm not going to do the classic spoon bend, okay? What I have here is an ordinary spoon, okay? Now I'm going to use the power of my mind to bend it, okay? Bend, 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 bend. And from what it looks like, it's bent slightly. If we move it down to the front, you can see that I've actually bent the spoon using nothing but the power of my mind. How about for our next trick, I am going, just for a really dumb trick, one finger here, one finger here. I'm using no trickery, okay? I'll even take my watch off. Okay, one finger here, one finger here, and lo and behold, two fingers on the other hand. No fingers here. Two fingers here. One finger here. Damn, it didn't quite work. Hang on. One finger here. Two fingers here. And what do you know? Three fingers. Okay. Okay, so that's a dumb trick. I'm just doing that for the little kids. Uh, 
15 year olds in the underwear who might be watching this. Okay, um, no, seriously. Uh, I've already, uh, you probably have already seen my telepathy trick, so um, I'm going to show you another trick. I want you to think of a number between. No, cancel that. Um, how about I'm going to put the uh, the I'm going to put the camera down somewhere where you can actually see my feet. Hang on, just give me a sec to reset some stuff up here. I'm going to put this down here. You should be able to see the ground at this point. Get a little bit uh, closer to the edge. We can make it look down a little bit more. Okay, good. Actually, my feet aren't very visible. With any luck, I should be able to do this right. And three, two. I believe I can fly. Sorry, can't do it very well. Let's try that again. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Sorry. Let me try that a little bit better so this way you can actually see that I'm not using any cheating or trickery to use this. Okay, so that was probably an El Cheapo of that. That was probably a bad levitation. Okay, for my next trick, I am now, actually, if you guys really want to see some trickery, watch this as I fly and uh, watch, about, watch as I do Spider-Man. All I need to do is simply take the webcam and lo and behold, I am now Superman flying through the air. Okay, fine, that's a dumb trick. Okay, sorry, that's just a really dumb trick. Um, oh, I know, there's one more I haven't shown you yet. Pencil, right? It's at least a solid object. I'm trying to bend the thing. It won't break. Look. See? It's not going to come apart. Now, I put it in here. I use the power of my mind to now break the thing into three, okay? One, two, three. Well, unfortunately, two bits fell out. Hang on. So now what you have, now what you have is three bits. One, see, one, two, and, oh, come on, three. Okay? Good. Now, I'm now going to shut the thing, and the thing is now you can see that there is we have now parts one, two, and three back in the back in the thing. Now that the pencil's been broken, now I'm going to use this again to put the put the pencil back together with the power of my mind. Three, two, one, and it's now back to being an ordinary pencil. Look, I'm not. I'm trying to break it. See, it's an ordinary pencil. I can even try to break it with my fingers. I'm pressing against it. It's not going to do anything. Okay. See, no magic, no you know, no trick pencils, no shtick like that. Just simply breaking it, putting it back together with the power of my mind. Now, I am now on a diagonal. Now watch as I fly. Whee! No, that's not going to work. Um, I've already done the Superman trick. I've done that. I've done... Okay, what haven't I done yet? Oh, yes! Sorry, I won't be doing that trick today. I seem to be missing a vital component. Oh well. How about for our last trick? This is just something to leave you off with. I want you to go, take up, get a scientific calculator, or use the wand or accessories in your computer. Think of a number between one and six hundred and ninety-nine. Enter it into the calculator and divide it by seven. Take the first six digits to the right of the decimal place and add them together as a sum. I will make a prediction as to what that final sum is. Without knowing your original number, I predict the sum will be 27. Go ahead and take a look to see if I'm right. Okay, have a nice day.